Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are once again going to be taking a look at the performance of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild on Simu on its very latest version. This video is in fact one I have been itching to make for the last few months. In it, we are going to be taking a look at the Ryzen 7 3700X and just how much performance you are going to be able to pump out when using this game on this absolutely awesome Wii U emulator. Now, while I have seen some videos on YouTube of 3700X performance on CMU, none of those videos really went into too much detail as to exactly how the CPU was running, what kind of clock speeds the CPU was running at, what kind of RAM you were using, and also in those videos, they pretty much only look at one or two areas like Kakariko or Hateno, whereas in this video, we are going to be visiting absolutely every single demanding area in the game. For example, the Hyrule Castle Ruins, Lurlin, Kakariko and Hateno villages, as well as the Great Plateau, the area we are in right now. The settings I'm using for the emulator are pretty much exactly what I show in my complete setup guide for the emulator. The only difference is I am using a 1440p resolution instead of the 1080p one that I recommend in that guide. If you yourself want to get this awesome emulator set up on your computer, you can indeed find that setup guide linked down in this video's description. Next, let's talk a little bit about the computer being used for this video. Obviously, I'm using a Ryzen 7 3700X. This CPU is being paired with 16GB of 3733MHz RAM at CL16, and I am also using the GPU I use for pretty much everything at this stage, my Gigabyte GTX 1080 Ti. All of these components are being housed within an X570 Aorus Elite. This is one of the most recommended X570 motherboards for in and around the price of $180 to $210 and having used it for the past week, I can definitely recommend it to absolutely anyone. Okay, so next up, let's discuss exactly what speeds I'm running the CPU at. This is where it gets a little bit tricky and it's going to take a little bit of explaining. So on this CPU, it basically has two CCXs, which are basically two separate divisions of its core layout. The 3700X is an 8-core, 16-thread CPU. This basically means that four of its cores and threads are going to be on one CCX, and four are going to be on another. Using a program called Ryzen Master, you are also able to individually change the speeds of any of these cores, or if you wish to do, as I have, changed the individual speeds and synced all the cores per CCX. Basically, all that I have done is on my first CCX containing four cores and four threads, I'm running that at 4.3 GHz, and on the second CCX containing yet another four cores and four threads, I'm running that at 4.2. Now, you may well say, uh, hey dude, the 3700X is supposed to run at a boost clock of 4.4 GHz, and you would be completely correct in saying that statement. However, at least at time of making this video, there is pretty much no way you're going to be hitting an all-core overclock of 4.4 GHz on the 3700X. That is while using the stock cooler that this CPU comes with and without having won the silicon lottery. Now, I was able to overclock all core to 4.4 GHz and run some games, but it just wasn't stable at all, so I decided for this overclock where I'm running 4 cores at 4.3 and the remaining 4 at 4.2 GHz using a V core of 1.325 volts. Even at this overclock of 4.3 GHz, the performance that this CPU is capable of throwing out is absolutely insane. In the next few days, I'm hoping to get a video made where I'm going to be comparing the performance of my 8700K clocked at 4.9 GHz versus this 3700X. I'm also hoping to get my hands on the Ryzen 5 3600 since it is a far more budget orientated CPU and supposedly it's meant to have a very, very similar performance to this 3700X in the CMU emulator. Now, on top of all of this, I'm also going to be doing further performance tests on other emulators. One that I especially want to check out is RPC S3 since that emulator is capable of using between 8 and 10 CPU cores at any given time and for that reason, I'm really, really excited to see how this CPU stacks up against my 8700K for performance. 
On top of this, I'm also going to be testing out a Yuzu emulator, but as always, if there are any emulators, emulated games, or any programs that you would like to see the 3700X performance in, please let me know down below this video in a comment, and as always, if I have the ability to, I will try to test that out for you absolutely no problem at all. If there is any information about this CPU or any of my specifications that I have left out in this video, also do not be afraid to leave a comment down below, or if you need a more immediate answer, feel free to join my Discord server, a link for which you will also find down in the description of this video. As I said at the start, there are a hell of a lot of demanding areas in Breath of the Wild, all of which I want to include in this video, so for the remainder, I am going to be leaving you with performance testing in these demanding places. Before I go though, I want to give another massive thank you to all of my Patreon supporters over on Patreon.com. You guys are absolutely awesome, helping me to pay for things like internet bills, water bills, power bills, games for testing, and even the CPU I required for this kind of video. So if anybody out there would like to help with the day-to-day -day running of BSOD Gaming, please consider heading to the Patreon link down below and pledging or donating. These pledges, as I always say, are absolutely not a requirement for help either here on YouTube or over on my Discord, but they are massively, massively appreciated, so to all of my past, present, and future supporters, thank you guys very, very much. If you enjoyed this video, remember to leave it a thumbs up down below, and if you would like to see all future releases from me, please remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Once again guys, thank you very much for watching, have a great day, and I will see you all in the next one.
for both us, Fury is ready. 